Uh, my name is Manon Burgel. I'm the COO at B2Expand. And uh, my company is at the intersection of gaming and blockchain, meaning that we, we want to bring all the advantages um, brought by blockchain into the gaming industry uh, for really, really operational um, products uh, aimed, to, aimed to players. So what type of games are we talking about? Um, the first game we are developing is called Beyond the Void and it's between the gameplay is really um, fast and fun, it's strategy, it's in space, so you have uh, spaceships and you need to fight against one opponent. So it's um, real-time action and um, the, the, the games are around 15 minutes and it's one-to-one -one online. Great. And uh, well, what kind of feedback are you getting from people who have tried the game? The feedback are actually really good. Um, it, it, it was good. Uh, the early access came out last uh, September uh, on Steam, which is the largest distribution uh, platform for uh, for games. And um, the, the ratings are actually pretty good on this game. And um, the new thing that we're going to, to do before the full release that will happen in uh, next October is um, that we want to re remake uh, a little bit the gameplay to make mm -hmm. it even more um, compelling, interesting for players and uh, to increase retention. So that's something we're working on as well as other game, game projects. Right. So are you personally a big gamer yourself? Um, I kind of... Um, I, I, I'd say I, I don't have the time to play so much, um, but that's a shame because I really like to play. I enjoy playing uh, video games and other games as well. Uh, so I'm more like uh, small games, indie games, uh, platformers, because that's all I have time for, unfortunately. But I also like strategy. Great. I, I really like what you're doing. How can they learn more about it on the internet? Where, where can they go? Uh, they can go to our website, which is uh, www.beyondthevoid.net, and um, we have also, if you want to know more about the blockchain side of, of it, uh, we have a decentralized marketplace uh, to sell uh, cosmetic assets for Beyond the Void. So it all, it's all cosmetics like um, different skins, appearances, yes, clothes. skins, avatars, um, battle points, um, this kind of stuff, but it's not, there is no pay to win in this game, and uh, the game is free to play, but um, yes, the story is running on the uh, Ethereum main, main uh, network. Great, excellent. So as you know, I work for Chronologic, and we have the Ethereum alarm clock with Piper Miriam to schedule transactions for the future. And I'm just curious, someone with your technical background, what, any thoughts about how that could be used? Well, I think the the first obvious well the first um, obvious use case um, I, I'm thinking of is for uh, ICOs because sometimes uh, when you're not in front of your computer and you miss the time and in a few seconds it's all gone and you're like oh, right uh, I want to so uh, frustrated so yes so um, I know a lot of people that and it happens to them. Uh, it happened to me sometimes also because yeah. sometimes I also uh, back some ICOs and uh, that would be the first use case within the blockchain um, community but broader if we think about um, uh, regular users I think that the banks already um, give this this kind of service uh, right. at the moment uh, to pay some th some things automatically like rents and, and and so on and I think it's really interesting that we have the same advantages on on blockchain because it's a, a great counterpart. I really like your thoughts. I think people will appreciate that. Thank you so much, Manon. Thank Good you. luck with your talk tomorrow, and uh, and thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. Thanks.